So I'm here at the Purbright Institute. My main responsibility is to supervise the poultry unit. So here we have six Rhode Island Red chickens, which are SBF dyer. Uh, SBF derived bait essentially means that they are specifically pathogen free. So upon entering the room, the one of the first things that we check, check their food and water, give them fresh water once a day. The food, they have ad libs, so if it's running low, we would top that up. If possible, we like to give them food enrichment as well as environmental enrichment. We have perches, which is very important for the birds because of the hierarchy and the pecking order, and also because they like, they are most comfortable sitting with their feet curved around a perch. Um, we then also pile up a pile of hay in the corner as well because they, they not only like to scratch around in it, they like to nestle down. So one of the other things that I like to give them is live crickets. It gives them the chance to experience what it would be like if they're outside digging through the grass, digging through the soil, getting the insects that they would normally forage on. And we generally just tip them in and watch them run. These are approximately six and a half weeks old. They're vaccinated and challenged at a certain time point. We weigh the birds, birds generally once a day. So as we get the birds out of the cage, we take them out, we generally give them a once over check, we look at their eyes, we look at their legs. Once we get to a certain stage in the study, um, obviously if they are showing a certain amount of clinical signs to say that they are coming down with the virus that they've been challenged with, then we might take them out and we might humanely cull them. Um, this is to stop them from getting too sick um, and going past their humane endpoint. Then they get to the point where we believe that they are distressed um, and we think that they, sh they shouldn't go any further.